Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to find maximum continuous positive numbers in the Q1 array. Suppose Q1 array is this one. So we need to find maximum positive continuous numbers. So for this array, it will be 1, 5, 0. So we have three positive numbers together here. And we have here 13 and 4. So here count of maximum positive count of uh, positive numbers will be 2 and we have 7 also so count of positive numbers will be 1 so 1 to 0 we have continuous 3 positive numbers for this area for, for this given array we will have output as 3 okay so how we can find out uh, we can traverse through the array and uh, we can maintain our count so like we can have count variable so initially it will be 0 so we will start traversing through the array from first index so uh, we will check this number is a positive or negative so we can check like this array of i greater than equal to 0 so we are considering 0 is a positive number here ok cool so uh, this condition will be true so we will increase our count so initially count was 0 only now we are increasing our count count plus plus ok so let's run run a for loop for i equal to 0 to i less than n ok so we will have braces also here and this will end here ok so if uh, give uh, this uh, current number is of, uh, greater than equal to 0 then we will increase our count ok so we can have braces else what ok we will see uh, in else condition what we will do uh, suppose uh, now we will increase our index so it i will come here so right now we have a negative number condition will be false line number this condition will be false so then we will go here and now we will check now we will, we will now we will check so now we need to again count uh, start our counting uh, here it will be one then here it will be two and if so uh, like uh, right now count uh, like uh, at seven count become one only so right now if we will directly increase our count then it will become 2 and at uh, 4 number it will become 3 so what we need to do whenever negative number occurs we uh, we need to set our count as 0 so like we started from 7 so our count become 1 ok then uh, we increase our index so right now we have negative number so in else condition what we will do we will set our count as 0 ok so uh, we can have another variable like maximum count max count so initially it will be 0 only and we can have condition here if count is greater than maximum count then we will update our maximum count so maximum count will become count cool so, so right now we have uh, right now index is 1 so we have negative number so we have uh, we have our count as 0 so we can start from first number ok So uh, this is the given array and we will start traversing uh, through the array from first index. So initially i will be 0. So we will have i as 0. So and we have a value of n as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0. Okay, so maximum number will be 9. 
value of 9 to num n will be 9 so 0 is less than 9 so condition is true so and uh, area of 5 will be 7 so 7 is greater than 0 so we will increase our count so count right now count is 1 after if condition we will directly come to line number 14 right now count is 1 and maximum count is 0 only so we will update our maximum count so maximum count will become 1 now we will increase our index so we have a uh, right now we have index as 1 so we will check here 1 is less than 9 or not yes it is and arrow of i greater than equal to 0 or not no area of i is minus 2 so we will come into else condition so we will set our count as 0 so right now our count is 0 only okay and we will come to line number 14 then uh, our right now our count is 0 and we have updated our maximum count as 1 so this condition will also false so again we will go to line number 6 and we will increase our index so it will be 2 and this is condition if condition at line number 7 will be true arrow of i is 13 13 greater than equal to 0 it is true so we will increase our count so count will become 1 so here we will check 1 is greater than 1 or not so it will be false so again we will go to line number 6 and we will increase our index 4 so our index will be 3 and arrow of i will be 4 so we will check it is greater than equal to 0 or not yeah it is so our count will become 2 so right now we have our count as 2 and maximum right now maximum count is 1 only so what we will do uh, we will update our maximum count because condition at line number 14 will be true so maximum count will become 2 now we will increase our index and we will come here so index will be 4 this condition is true at line number 6 so it will be minus 12 so this condition will be false line number 7 so we will directly come to line number 11 and we will have our count as 0 only okay so we will check here 2 is greater than 0 or not 0 is greater than 2 or not this condition will be false so again we will go to line number 6 and we have increased uh, index as 5 so 5 is less than 9 it is true so we have arrow of i as 1 so we will increase our count so it will become 1 okay and line number 14 we will check 1 is greater than 2 or not so it is not so we want to update our maximum count again we will go to line number 6 and we will have our increased index as 6 so it will be 6 and arrow of i will be 5 only so right now we will check it is greater than 0 or not yeah it is so we will increase our count it will become 2 right. so at line number 14 we will check this condition 2 greater than 2 it will be false so again we will go line number 6 and we will have increase index as 7 so this condition is true and arrow of 5 will be 0 only so we will increase our count it will become 3 so right now we have count as 3 and uh, our maximum count was 2 only so we will update our maximum count it will become 3 okay cool so again we will go to line number 6 and we will increase our index so our index is right now 8 okay and our area of 5 will be minus 3 it is less than 0 so we have our count as 0 only cool so we have line number 14 condition 0 is greater than 3 or not so uh, this condition will be false so we won't update our maximum count so now we will increase our index so index will be this one and we will have index as 9 okay so this condition will false because 9 is not less than 9 okay so we will come uh, terminate our this for loop and we will print just our maximum count 
so uh, at the last iteration in the for loop we have our maximum count as 3 see line number 15 so we will print 3 only okay so this is the approach how we can find out uh, continuous positive uh, numbers in the given array okay so now i will go to write c program for this approach for writing c program first i will comment this given array and first we need to include our header files which is standard input output dot h then we have our main method then main method uh, has written type as integer so we will return 0 Pool. so we will define our uh, number of elements in the array so it will be n so we will have int array n okay so uh, through for loop you can pro uh, provide uh, elements in the array and we can uh, have value of n as a user input but uh, in this case I will directly provide so it will be 9 and we will have this given array okay cool So we have variables like count equal to 0 and we have variable maximum count initially it will be 0 only for iterating in the for loop we will have i index so we have this for loop i equal to 0 i less than n so we have n h 9 in this case i plus plus we will increase our index and we have our for loop for loop so we have condition if array of i greater than equal to 0 then we will increase our count else we will set our count as 0 only cool and we will check uh, our count is greater than maximum count or not okay so we will uh, if uh, our count is greater than maximum count then we need to update our maximum count so we will update our maximum count as count cool. so we have this program and uh, after the for loop we can print maximum number of the uh, numbers which occurs continuous uh, so we can print uh, maximum positive continuous numbers in the given array so percent has to be Next con yes. positive numbers are equal to percentage to the maximum count we can print. Okay. If uh, suppose all the numbers are negative, then we will have our maximum count as zero. See line number ten. Okay. So now we will run this program and we will see the output see in this case maximum count is 3 suppose it was minus 5 suppose it was minus 5 so see we have positive numbers as 1 so here maximum count maximum continuous positive numbers are 1 only for here uh, for 0 number also maximum positive continuous numbers are 1 only but here we have two maximum continuous positive number and seven also single so uh, for this case it will print two it is still printing oh sorry uh, i have uh, changed the value in the given array but at line number instead of line number one we need to change here only okay cool so we need to change in the 
our given input at line number 7 so it will be 200 cool. and we can have 2 as a positive number so right now continuous positive numbers are 7 2 13 4 so it will be 4 so output will be 4 okay, cool. suppose we have Uh, all the negative numbers like it is minus 10 so 1 2 3 4 so our n will be 4 only so in this case maximum count should be 0 okay so this is a dynamic pro program it will work uh, with any given input so time complexity for this program will be order of n because we are traversing through the area only once okay and uh, space complexity will be order of one because uh, we are not creating uh, any extra array only we are uh, using uh, variables like n i count maximum count okay this is order of one only so what i will do i will provide a link in the video description from where you can get this source code okay okay bye